1 horsepower and 98 foot-pounds of torque. Fuel economy in the 30s is the least to expect, but the trade-out is a car with a lag and pickup when merging on the highway. At least, that's how the standard engine package performs. Wisely, Fiat is still offering a manual transmission in the 500, so a driver can at least think he is squeezing the most performance from the car. We found the driving and riding experience to be workable in most urban driving situations. But to be honest, a long road trip is not something to look forward to in the subcompact. A cargo space of 23 cubic feet can barely handle two fully loaded backpacks, let alone get two regular sized luggage pieces inside. The suspension is a mix of McPherson struts up front and a twist beam rear axle with coil springs and shock absorbers. Standard four-wheel disc brakes are more than capable to stop this 2,400 pound vehicle. In all fairness, we have to remember, this is the basic Fiat which was positioned to get back into the North American market. And for drivers who want more from Fiat, the choice will be the performance-oriented Abarth, or they can wait for the larger 500L model to come to these shores. This is Greg Morris. We want to know what you think, so email us. The address is bumper to bumper tv at cs.com.